Oh, hello. Is that uh, William? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi there. We spoke the other week. Um, it's, it's Robert here. How are you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. OK, Robert. Yeah. Keep, keeping her... How are you? Yes. Um, I just wondered if you had some time, maybe not at the moment, maybe maybe some other no. time you might have some time to spare to, to go over those... those um, I've got some difficulties, you know, I've got, I've got some problems, some things I can't resolve. Right. And I was wondering if you I had th- some time. Yeah, I mean, the best thing is, um, usually we just study with people, you know, go through it and meet them and, yeah. That's what we do so quite often, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying you've got to do that, but, uh, mm. yeah. But we can still chat. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, which point, um, you was on about the resurrection. No, the soul, wasn't it? Well, there's a there's a there's a number of issues. I mean, one of the ones that really bugs me is, I, I was looking at the Revelation book, Revelation, the grand climax at at hand. Right. Chapter thirty three. Right. Yeah, I haven't got it in front of me, but yeah. Well, well. page two three five talks about Christendom. And right. It, it yeah. seems to imply that all of the Catholic and the Protestant churches are somehow. Well, they are the religion of false, the world empire of false religion, it calls them. Can I, can I just read the, the paragraph to you? Yeah, yeah, that's how they put it, yeah. I mean, how, what, how do you see it? Could I read the paragraph to you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. It's, it, it's the end of paragraph two and the start of paragraph three. We read, however, that by her spiritualistic practice, all the nations were misled. This makes it clear that the great harlot must be a worldwide religious entity. Which religious entity is she the Roman Catholic Church as some have maintained, or is she all of Christendom? No, she must be even larger than these if she is to mislead all the nations. She is, in fact, the entire world empire of false religion. Her origin in the mysteries of Babylon is shown in that many Babylonian doctrines and practices are common to religions around the earth. Um, That's paragraph two, the end of paragraph two and the start of paragraph three. It seems to imply that all the churches, which it calls Christendom, Catholic and Protestant and, and Orthodox, kind of implies that they're false religion. I'm kind of a bit shocked. Oh, yeah? Yeah? OK. So, so, so <clears throat> you're not... No, you don't go along with that. That's what you're saying. Well, other religious groups make exactly the same claim. The Mormons they claim it. that... Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I know, I know. The Mormons yeah. claim that every world religion... Every religion, every church is of the devil except for their church. The Christadelphians claim every world religion, including Jehovah's Witnesses, including Mormons, they're all of the devil except for their church. Uh, The Way International claims every world religion is entirely of the devil. All Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox churches, including the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Mormons and the Christadelphians, they're all of the devil except for the Way International. So... It seems to be how certain religions that claim to be a theocracy, that you know, they they claim that they govern on behalf of God. It sort of is a kind of modus operandi for them. That they claim that everyone else is of the devil except for them. And it's, it seems that the Jehovah's Witnesses are making the same claim here. I'm kind of a you know, kind of a bit shocked, William. Yeah, you've got to make up your own mind, haven't you? You know. Yourself, Robert. You know, um, it's there in writing. You've got to look at the uh, fruitage of religions, really. Haven't you? Yeah. Well, the book goes on to mention the UN on page two hundred and fifty-four. It says the UN is also of the devil. Mm. But the Jehovah's Witnesses joined the UN in nineteen ninety-two. You took out. Um, membership of the UN as an NGO, that means non-governmental organisation, and you were members of the UN for nine years until the Guardian newspaper on the 8th of October 2001 broke the story that um, about the hypocrisy of the Watchtower religion, that you claim in this 1988 book that the UN is satanic, but four years later you joined the UN and took out NGO membership. Whilst at the same the time you're claiming the UN's of the devil. It's kind of hypocrisy, it's just, isn't it? Is this in the book? Is this in the Revelation book? What? What you've just quoted. No, I, I was quoting the Guardian newspaper. The oh, Revelation right. book yeah, was published yeah. in 1988. Yeah. The Guardian yeah. newspaper published three articles, the first of which was the 8th of October 2001. 
and I've got yeah. a letter from the UN in which they admitted you were members of the UN for um, nine years between 1992 and 2001. You left the day after the Guardian newspaper exposure. I, I couldn't comment because I don't know. I haven't seen it. So. Well, why don't you? I mean, it's, it's, it's pure hypocrisy, isn't it? If the Catholics did this or the, uh, the Anglicans did this, you know, you'd be gloating about what hypocrites they are, but when you do it, you don't want to look at it. <laughs> you only want to see faults in other people, but... So, you... which one do you think's right, then? Which religion's right? Are you looking for the right one? What do you mean by religion? Well, or, or, or a religious organisation. You're looking for the truth. So, so the truth you, is you Christ. Know? The truth is a person. It's not a religious organisation. There's no religious oh. organisation on earth run by men that's perfect. They're all, they all have many, oh, no, many no. flaws. But there is perfection yeah. in Christ. Christ said, come yeah. unto me, all you who are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. That rest oh. is the eternal Sabbath rest in Christ. It's salvation. I think it's Matthew eleven twenty-eight or 48, somewhere around there. So it's Christ we go to. We don't look for some organisation like the Baptist Church or the Mormon Church or the Jehovah's Witness organization or the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Jesus never pointed well, people to churches. He said, come to me, all you who are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. What do you think the prepositions me and I mean? Yeah, but he did actually say, do you have a faithful and discreet slave? I think people that would do his will on the earth in the last days. It's a parable, mate. That's, that's just a parable. He's not talking about the setting up of a religious organization, and that religious organization is a mediator between us and Christ. Mm. So to get to mm. Christ, you have to join some religious organization, stand beside a cart, fill out timesheets for doing so many hours per week, wear suits and ties, attend so many meetings, not take blood transfusions, and have a long list of do's and don'ts. That's, that's just how the cults like the Mormons and the Seventh-day Adventists and the Christadelphians and the Way International operate. They have a, a long list of do's and don'ts. And you've got to tick off this checklist and do all these do's and don't do any of the don'ts. And then you can earn salvation by your own works. And the Bible so, says it's impossible. Salvation is in Christ. It's not something so you, we do ourselves. Are you, you don't belong to any organization at the moment. No, I don't no. Know. You did, but I don't know if you, you want to or you, you happy as you are. Well, I, I, I think there's a lot of apostasy everywhere. I, I don't think people take any of it seriously. I don't think no. people in these religions take any of it seriously. No. You know, so why should I take it seriously if, if they don't and the leaders don't? All they want is people's money, or in the case of Jehovah's Witnesses, they want you to do so many... Is it nine hours a week you have to do to be a pioneer, or is it more? How, how many hours do you have to do if you you no, are baptized you Jehovah's you Witness? Do whatever you want. I see. So you can do half an hour a week, and you'll still be regarded as Jehovah's Witness in good standing. Yeah, you do what you can. You're not pushed to do anything. I see. And if I'm you're a pioneer, sure. you can do just half an hour a week. Can you? Oh no, you you, you can do so many hours there. And, and how many you... hours do you have to do? I've got to do. Why are you questioning me on this? Well. I'm just... OK. I, I mean, how do, how do you explain the fact that the Revelation book says the UN is of the devil, but the Jehovah's Witness religion joined the UN in 1992? How do you explain that? I can't, because I haven't got it in front of me. Would you be willing to look I'm, into it and get back to me? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy as, as, you know, I've looked at different religions, and I'm quite happy being a Jehovah's Witness. Um, Ignorance is bliss, eh? Ignorance is there's bliss, a lot eh? Of, there's a lot of good in it, a tremendous lot, and we base everything on the Bible. So that's what you've got to go on. Any religion, just base it on what the scriptures say. And I see. Your your insight book, volume one, page one hundred and twenty-six, under the heading Apollyon. It says in this insight book that Apollyon is the glorified Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I've got it in front of me. So, would you be willing to look I, at that? I'll have to have a look. Won't I? Yeah. I, I must, I got my, my wife just dished up my tree off the trouble. Okay. All right. All okay. right. Well, will you, will you get back to me, William? I'll try and get back, yeah. I'm busy this week because we got yeah. some, a big week in the, in, in the, in the um, meetings and different things. So, okay. 
All right, thank you. Bye bye. Bye.